How do I analyze a reaction over time using PASCO's wireless spectrometer? So before beginning, I've already connected or paired my Bluetooth wireless spectrometer to the iPad, and I've already performed the light and dark calibration procedure. Before I select the Analyze a Reaction Over Time icon, I first want to be sure I analyze the solution. This will allow me to select a specific wavelength to analyze over time. So I have my colored solution in which the reaction will take place in the spectrometer. I'm going to begin data recording. And while data is recording, I can auto scale and manually scale. And I can also use the smoothing option. And then once I have a curve for the absorbance spectrum of the solution, I'm going to select the coordinates tool and I get a box that I can drag to any part of the line. I can choose any part of the curve. And then once I've selected the wavelength that I want to use for the analysis, I can tap in the middle of the coordinates box and then select the check mark and that will define the wavelength for the procedure. So then I can switch to analyze a reaction over time and I can change the sample rate depending on the relative speed of the reaction. I can make it collect a data point every second, every minute. I can change that sample rate. I'm going to leave it to the default sample rate of one data point per, per second. Select data recording. And in my colored solution there's actually no reaction taking place so there's no change in absorbance. But if you had a colored solution that changed in color over time or became more transparent um, over time such as a blue colored solution that then you added bleach to, you could investigate the kinetics of that reaction by looking at the rate of change in the absorbance or transmittance over time.